All right, so today we are going to talk about the highest points of stories. So like I know we've talked about um, climax this week and the problem and the rising action, but today we're gonna talk about like what is the high point of a story? So I'm gonna look back at a couple books that, we just, that we've just that we read this year. If you remember the Lost Lake where the boy goes camping with his dad and they don't have a really good relationship. Um, the highest point of this story, which was like the most exciting part of the story, is when, hold on, all my books are falling on my lap is when the boy wakes up and he sees the lake they've been looking for the entire time. So that is like the highest point of the story. Um, and then the ending would be they um, the problem was solved when the dad was happy and they had a relationship again. Um, so that would be the resolution. Uh, we're also gonna look at the book, The Dunderheads. We've talked about this one a lot. The highest point of the Dunderheads, like the biggest part of the story is when they find the box, like that's a big deal, and they get the box open and get the cat back. Like that was like, oh, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. And so um, the highest point of the story. And so that is what we call the climax. And that's what we've been um, talking about this week is the climax. And so you're going to start seeing that word quite often in like your fiction um, passages um, when you're practicing answering those questions. Um, how did the climax affect the story? Well, it affected the story because they were able to find what they were looking for. Um, so we need to make sure we're, when we're reading, I'm looking for the climax of the story. I'm looking for the most exciting part of the story.